so many years ago today. Ah, my foster son is up and dressed, I see. Today is the High Harvest Fair, and the West Harbor Village Council requires me to man the archery competition. The human need to celebrate Remembrance Days baffles me, but at least something productive may come of it. The Merchant Galen is here. He'll want my furs, as he usually does. Coins can be useful in getting by. This past season has been a hard one for both tilled fields and wildlands. While I attend to the archery contest, I will need you to deal with the merchant. Fetch my furs from the chest, over by the painting. Good, I see you have the furs. Galen has probably set up his tent on the village green. He'll be enjoying the fair with the rest of the townsfolk. Last season, I asked him to bring a duskwood bow to trade. Sell him the furs and use the coins it gives you to purchase the bow. Your friends await you at the bridge. I suppose you're anxious to see the fair. But don't forget to trade with Galen. Are. Come on, the fair's already started. It's the biggest fair in years. There's folk in from all the outlying farms, and even a few from outside the mare. That means a big audience. A big audience, all cheering for us. This year's our last chance to compete for the Harvest Cup. Our last chance to win. The Mossfelds won both their matches in the Harvest Brawl. They'll be tough to beat. But Amy's bound to win the tourney of talent for us. I convinced Tarmus to teach me a few new spells. And I dug up a couple more from his spell books when he wasn't looking. Anyway, I heard Will Mossfeld is doing the same act this year, so that should help my chances. Oh, gods. Not the pixie impressions again. We sign up with Georg in the village square. Come on! And the blight. You're sure it's spreading, Orlin? It's no blight, Georg. It's something else. There's no mold, no rot. It's like the crops don't want to grow. It's like they're having the guts to have them face the sun. What do the druids say? Well, it's just a rub, Georg. There's no druids to be found. Not head nor heel. It used to be they'd warn me of troubles, long before I noticed the signs myself. But this time, we're out in silence. You think we ought to say something? Everyone's gathered for the fair. Even from the outlying farms. No. They ought to be free from cares, at least for a day. We'll go round tomorrow. Talk to the households one by one. Right you are, Georg. Tomorrow, then. Aha! Uh -huh. I've been wondering when I'd see the three of you. Last year to compete, isn't that right? Rules are the same as ever. Win three of the four events, and you win the Harvest Cup. Win all four, and the Village Council grants you a special prize. <laughs> and nobody's done that since old Cormac. Oh, that boy was a legend. Oh, I'm sure there's a hundred Cormacs in a city like Neverwinter. But for this town, he was as big as folks get. Old Cormac fought Lawn Starling in the brawl, <laughs> and some story that was. <laughs> But I don't suppose you have time for stories just now. Well, there's the Harvest Brawl. <laughs> Old favorite, that one. And the Tourney of Talent. But you've got Amy on your team. 
so you are certain to win. Thanks, Georg. Just the truth, young lady. Your foster father's running the archery competition, as always, and I managed to convince Tarmus to supervise the Knave's Challenge. I guess the Knave's Challenge will be your toughest event, though the Mossfeld boys might say otherwise. Well, Will and his brothers have won the Harvest Brawl three years running. It'll be tough to dislodge them, <laughs> but remember, you only have to win three events to claim the cup. Keep an eye on Bevel, and don't let the Mossfelds get him riled. That's how they always beat him on the practice field. Yeesh, Georg, I'm right here, you know. If you have any troubles, you know where to find me. <laughs> oh, and good luck in the brawl! So, you've decided to compete for the cup, I see. I know this is your last year, but the rules apply to all, even foster sons. A fine bow, a fine one, made by one who loves his craft. You may keep the rest of the gold as your allowance for the season, but you came for the archery competition as well, did you not? Fetch a crossbow from the barrel and take a few shots at the practice target. You must hit the target once before you can compete. Are you ready to compete then? The rules are the same as last year. Ten shots and ten targets. Your targets will be old bottles, set atop the crates yonder. Five is the best score so far. If you remember the lessons that have been taught to you, you should be able to best that. Both walk away from this. Ugh. You will regret that. Ugh. You will regret that. Ugh. We won't both walk away from this. Ugh. Walk away from this. Ugh. My steel will strike. Well done. I think your score will stand this year, but I will remain here until day's end, awaiting those who wish to shoot for fun. Go on now, there's still more of the fair to see.
enjoying the fair. Packs of feral children set loose to find trinkets. Grown men braining one another with clubs. Do you know they're actually granting prizes for the fattest pig? As if the creatures needed encouragement. I expect you are here for the aptly named Knave's Challenge. Surrounded by muck and reek, and why not encourage our children to be thieves as well? That's what I always tell them. Come to think of it, I don't believe any of you has the skills to compete. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. But you'll need to find someone who can pick pockets and break locks and search for hidden trinkets if you want to compete. Lock breakers? Pocket pickers? I don't know anyone like that. Do you? What about Kip? He's always nicking vials from Tarmus, and he's right over there behind the tent. Isn't that the boy who stole my basilisk eyelash? And not once, but four times. That's right. My frog needed eyelashes. Then I got him a sweetheart and she needed him too. Don't trouble yourself on my account. I'll settle with the young artiste and his frogs later. Before you begin, I suppose you'll want to hear the rhyme. Very well, but it's dreadful. Don't say I didn't warn you. <clears throat> I've hidden three feathers, scattered them wide, placed white in a box, and locked it inside. Blue followed termite tracks down where they ran, green in the pocket of same colored man. It's a riddle, right, Tarmus? The white feathers locked in a box, the blue feathers hidden beneath something. Probably something that would attract termites. So... Green in the pocket of same colored man. I'll bet that's him over by the house. The feather's in his pocket. It's got to be.
making things up. Perhaps so. I. Dabra. right. This pig's been enchanted. It's a faint aura, so it could have been a simple enlargement spell, or maybe a potion. Galen's been known to bring special orders from the city. And he keeps them quiet, too. He's good about that. Or maybe Louis got it from one of those travelers who's gone missing on his land. Remember that bard last season? Louis offered to guide him into the swamp. And he never came back out again. Well, Retta did give us a scroll of Lesser Dispel. All I'd have to do is read the words. Wait a minute. Uh, shouldn't we say something to Louis? He's a foul old wretch. But we ought to give him a chance to withdraw his pig from the contest before he's shamed in front of everyone. It really is a dreadful day for a fair. Not even the tents are managing to look cheerful. Thank the gods! The knave's challenge is won, and I can go someplace dry. I'd kiss all of you, but no one respects an affectionate wizard. No need to remind me. I try never to leave my home, unless I'm looking for a bath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Bring it to me! Let's see what you've got! You'll die here and now! Perhaps so. Bring it to me! Hmm. What? Well played. Well played. You've won the cup. And all four events. <laughs> Nobody's done that since Cormac. That warrants a special reward, of course. I have a harvest cloak for you, courtesy of the village council. It'll be yours at the end of the day. If there's anything you wanted to do before the award ceremony, now's the time. Maybe a mug of harvest mead to celebrate, eh? I'll meet you at the stage when you're ready for the victory speech. Now, I'm off! This way, everyone. Stay close and step where I step.
Gather round, mates. Gather round. This harvest fair's a celebration. But it's also a dark anniversary. We all know what else happened on this day. Not so long ago, we nearly lost this village. Almost lost our lives. Almost lost it all. But we came back. Cleared burnt farms. Buried our dead. And put our ashes behind us. And we rebuilt. Tougher and stronger than ever. Long as there's a harvest fair, we won't forget that day. And our young folks, they'll stay tough. Long as they compete for the Harvest Cup. So let's hear it for this year's winners. Free cheers for the Harvest Champions. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! The village is under attack! West Harbor is under attack! You're safe! Grab a weapon! We need to help defend the village! I'm not sure! They came pouring in from the swamp and started tearing the village apart! We better hurry. I saw some of them following us on our way here. They're likely to hit this house next. It's in that chest next to your bed. You keep everything in there, remember? Hurry up and arm yourself. The longer we wait, the more we put the village at risk.
There you are. I saw some of those creatures enter your house, and it is good to see you safe. I don't know where these beasts came from, but we need every sword at the southern bridge. More of these creatures are on the way, and in greater numbers, Georg is trying to gather the militia. But I fear he will not be able to marshal the defense in time, and without help, this village will fall. Lives may depend on me acting now, not after the battle. Every man I can heal and get back into the fight, the greater our chances. Head south along the road. I will stay here and look for the wounded, then join you. Georg should be at the bridge. Join him quickly. He will no doubt have orders for you. But before you go, take this blessing from Lathander. All of you. If you are wounded or need another blessing in the fight ahead, simply return and speak to me. Thank the gods you made it. There's been no sign of your father, and I feared you'd been killed as well. I have no idea where these creatures came from or what they want, but the ones loose in the village are only the first wave. More are coming. A lot more. If we're going to stop them, we need someone to rally the militia and meet them head on. The militia is likely disorganized and scattered about town. You may have met some on your way here. Gather a half dozen men or so. That's the most we can hope for. Now go. When you've gathered everyone you can, meet me at the wheat field south and west of here. We'd better search the town, try to gather who we can, and I hope we can find enough still alive. Let's see what you've got! Boss, come on! 
You three stay out of this! It's too dangerous! Master, just hold on. We can help! So the whelp seeks to test herself. How pathetic. Blast it! The rest of you, stay where you are! I shall waste no more time on this pitiful village. It is not here. In the Yekoron. The stupid girl! I told her to stay out of it! There's more to do. Georg and the militia are holding our attackers at bay on the Starling farm. We must hurry before the tide turns. Leave her. It's too late. We must hurry to the Starling farm before more harbormen meet the same fate as she did. The girl is dead. Now move! before we lose even more to this attack. I want to help her too, but Tarmas is right. Amy didn't have a chance. Let's head for my family's farm. Georg will need every harborman to help fight off the attack. I do not know, but he was clearly skilled in the art. He probably led the attack on West Harbor. We must hurry to the Starling farm before more harbormen meet the same fate as my apprentice. It's just down this road. We better get moving. Tarmas will need our help. If only I had more time to gather equipment from my home. If you make your way there, you may find some magical and alchemical equipment of use. It's to the north! Now go! Get away! Didn't you see those creatures out there? They're killing everyone! What, you came to drag me out there to die? Not on your life! I'm staying right here. But I... tried... to fight. There's so many of them. Too many. All right, all right, I'm going. I'll meet you there. I'm not dead when you arrive.
Whoever you are, you aren't getting in here! I'm not going out there. I'll be cut down in seconds. And I'm not letting them inside to loot my place. Not while I'm still standing. If I open the door, those beasts will kill me just as well. Now go away! What? What did you say? Let's show him. After you.
Lei mi vuol green. My home is the house closest to the bridge. Some equipment I have there may prove of use. <laughs> <laughs> 